Drives in the paint, kicks out Olinger, extra pass. Marshall's three, rattles home. Gabby Marshall gets her first point in a Hawkeye uniform. University of Virginia, or Virginia University of Lynchburg, they're averaging 107 on the year through the first two games as Marshall's jumper is good. Kiowa wants it. She'll direct traffic back to Marshall. Her three ball, good to go. Gabby Marshall knocks it down. Extra pass to Warnock, she lets the three go. That one's long, Olinger again a rebound. She'll kick out, Marshall, step back, three ball. That one's good, Iowa, a step back three from Marshall. Into the post, Sinana working around congestion, leaves at the short corner for Martin, that's no good, offensive rebound. And Marshall will knock it in for three for the Hawkeyes, and they are getting it going in the third quarter. The fresh Nobody over that, and on the Iowa side, it's fairly balanced, but Meyer with 15, Doyle with 10, as Marshall's step back buries. That's a dirty move with a clean step back. In 29, as McKenna Warnock will check in. Kathleen Doyle heads to the scores table as well. Playing at a new court can always be hard. NC State showing a, a, a full court press for the first time. Marshall, ball fake, step back, three ball, buries it. What a good job of that freshman. Civilian throws right side quarter court. Gabby Marshall puts it on the deck. Challenged by Leah Brown. Gets around her. Drives down the lane. Maybe walk. Flips it up and scores. Marshall to Olinger for two. Burton got to be careful. She might be called for the reach in there. Here's Marshall in the corner. We'll dribble it out. She'll take the three from the wing. You can't wallow in that miss. You got to get back defensively because Iowa is coming at you. Mm, what a move there from Olinker, who perhaps is one of the Iowa players not getting all the credit that she deserves here this year. She started out two for two here tonight and has since missed her last three shots. Pump fake for Marshall and a good solid move for the other freshman for Iowa who gets some playing time this year. The zone defense and then just look at the nice deliberate dribble. That's smart basketball. If you go back and you watch her threes throughout the course of conference play, you'll notice she hits a lot from there. And it's Marshall who has the answer from the other corner spot. Same concept with McCutcheon. When she's on, when she can contribute the little things to her team from a scoring perspective, she's a difference maker. From the Czech Republic, Pospisilova knocks one down as Marshall trapped in the block. Turns around, throws that one up, and gets it to go. Amanda Olinger, 7.1 points per game, but more importantly, around nine rebounds per game as Marshall fires the three. He got it. Another quick opportunity, Marshall finds himself all alone, pulls up, bang. And so you see the little extended press, a little one, two, two action. Good job from, to spot up, and, and, and Gabby with the big one. Lisa Bluter has welcomed her back whenever Rutgers has come back. In, in example, last year when she surpassed a thousand wins in her career, there's the three there from Gabby Marshall. He was 3-15 and 15 last season, 12-19 and 19 overall, as Clark on the feed from Marshall. Iowa takes advantage of the turnover. A mainly empty Carver Hawkeye Arena. Maybe 50 fans here in attendance total this afternoon as a takeaway by Marshall. One-on-one -on -one with Hilliard. The stop up and under. Good facilitator, averages over five assists for Bell Fenley squad. As here's a takeaway, Marshall one-on-three. Kicks back to Clark, long three, good. Marshall to Sinano, 13-footer, rattles home. a hits the floor as the ball goes all the way down court. 
for it. And one for Marshall. 75 81, 37 seconds left. And here's that long court pass again from Clark down to Marshall. Caught. It's over to Jensen. Inside. 14 footer. Good shot. Just rims out and Dins grabs the board. It's a good looking shot from Lauren Jensen. Just couldn't go down. lost a game against Southern Illinois. I'm not sure if that's as high as priority to get rescheduled. Marshall cans the three. Look for her to create her own look. Good double team stifled that opportunity. Marshall steps back. Three ball is good. The lead is now 10. 127 left to play. All wide open is Gabby Marshall for three. Here's Meyer looking for the answer. Not that time, but another offensive rebound. Sinano kicks it out to Marshall for three. She won't miss that tonight. This half, trying to frustrate her a little bit more, try to get bodies on her, double her as much as possible. Well, Sinano gets the easy bucket, and maybe that will get the Iowa center going offensively as she takes it up court, but she, they eventually work it around to Sinano. Ohio State has been so successful when they can get in the paint and score. 16 points now for Miller, back the other way. Count it. Marshall taking the contact for the and one. Over time, gets the ball to Marshall, who finishes with the contact, maintains balance, and is still able to kiss it off. Still making a contribution there. And here's Gabby Marshall, open on the wing. Count it. Yeah, she's 43% from beyond the arc. Lead change in Iowa looking for more. Pouring it on to start the third quarter as Marshall gets the triple try. And, you know, everything that on this one, just a little miscue. I felt like Sydney would. Here we see Gadiva Hubbard is actually not on the court again once she is sitting out due to that injury that we saw her out with on Thursday. So Alexia Smith is actually stepping in once again for her as a starter. Gabby Marshall goes up and the foul. Logan Cook kicks it down low. Sonano finds Marshall on the left wing. Bingo. 15-12 Iowa lead. Really is strong, tough. It's hard to knock her off the line on the drive. Finally a miss on the other end, but the good offensive board for McKenna Warnock. And then the outside shot. For that kind of pass, and it was Berger who took the initial pass from Cardano Hillary and got it to the wing. In on the shot clock. Deep three from Clark. Off the heel. And the long rebound taken away. Good hustle by Kate Martin. Marshall. She'll hit the three. Second yeah, chance for Iowa. And the Hawkeyes cash in for three. Iowa just unbelievable for three. Gabby Marshall is getting in on the three-point action. Off the miss. McKenna Warnock has the rebound. Clark with a long pass up to Marshall. How about the vision for Clark and Marshall makes it count? The player is the way she sees the floor. Look at the vision, always looking up, gets the ball to only where a teammate can score. She looks like Peyton Manning throwing down. Clark to the open, Gabby Marshall. 4-3. And then Caitlin Clark, one of the best visions in the country. Gabby Marshall hits. We've got a ball game. Lisa, that was the same exact play. Throw the flat pass to the opposite weak side corner for a triple on the out-of-bounds underplay. Iowa needs to adjust that. Kim Barnes-Arico was one who was impressed with her in terms of just watching that game against Maryland. Step back there for Gabby Marshall for another two here for Iowa. Solid defense for two to three quarters, but they haven't really put a full game together on defense until this last game against Michigan. Defensive minded here early for Wisconsin. Three ball on the way. Good. Knocking it down. Gabby Marshall. 
But Marshall, the pump fake and the drain of the... Berger now with eight points, the second leading scorer for Indiana as Clark this time takes it inside for two. Ah, she was just want nothing more than to be on the court right now for a team. Marshall joined the contact. Oh, they're going to count it. Cardano Hillary has picked up her fourth. That's what you have to do. Attack the basket, create contact, and scoop it in there. Clark jogs up the floor. Hand off to Marshall, who chucks the three. Bingo. Couldn't quite finish. Gets her own rebound. Throws it out to Martin. Tough offensive rebound. The extra pass to Marshall. It's good. And Kyle putting it back. And Kyle just didn't have her footing on that put back. On the transition for Marshall. Guys still looking for their first points of this game. Marshall will take her try, and we're tied at three. Because those are long rebounds. Your posts are in there. They can't get to those. So she said she was disturbed a little bit at the end when those threes were going up late in the game. Cook, that hesitation. Warnock got right in the way, and off and running. Here comes Clark. Slip in the pass to Marshall. Beautiful finish. Transition. Clark have scored this bucket on her own. Absolutely. But she is so unselfish. Puts it right into the hands of Gabby Marshall in stride. Great recognition, perfect timing, and place. Stanford with a convincing win over UCLA. Some of the other teams getting in with automatic bids, including well, there's a three knocked down from, from the outside by Marshall. Quickly into the front court is Iowa. Here's Caitlin Clark, an off-balance shot from well outside of three, rebounded by the Hawks to Gabby Marshall. She answers with a three ball. 79% free throw shooter, 63 of 80, makes the second one. And racing into the front court, shot from three at the buzzer, and the score for Gabby Marshall. Clock got under one second, and it gives the Hawks a 20-point lead at 31 to 11. 1-2-2 two, two zone applied by Sam Samford. Gabby Marshall on the outside. Bounce pass to the inside to Kate Martin. And the soft touch eight-footer is good. So get it to Kaylin Clark coming to the near side. Left side, Gabby Marshall guarded by Tanisha Metcalf. Down low to Monica Sinano. Boy, you know, she learned a lot from uh, Megan Augustus. Marshall open from deep. It's good. This Iowa team loves getting out in transition. And that's her first basket. And Gabby Marshall takes the pass inside out and drills a three-pointer. Clark today, it seems like. Fierbach on the wing, dumps it to the corner. Marshall for three. Got it. Hawks had missed a bunch in a row, but Marshall gets that one. But she just plays with a joy that is so fun to watch and infectious on this team. As that three goes down for Kylie Firebach. Second opportunity. Missed it all. Clark now with four. Up ahead to Marshall on the buzzer. Gabby Marshall gives Iowa the lead at the buzzer. In time and score. Just enough time for Clark to push up and Gabby Marshall with an absolute dagger to end the first quarter. Doesn't get much better than that, and that's how you get the crowd and the momentum going. Gabby Marshall heating up in Iowa City. Shelly, five to go. Tough possession there for the Huskers. Clark up ahead to Marshall, who gets the defender to fly through and gets two. Hey, take a look at this pass by Caitlin Clark on the money. A pocket pass that was three quarters of the court. To the Minnesota native, she's had a great Husker career. Still not over yet, but she closes out on Marshall, but she will drain that right in front of Hybe. She saw their Iowa head coach, Lisa Bluter. She was yelling at her team for directions, what she wants them to do, but. It's the team's exchange turnovers and Gabby Marshall. <laughs> Anana working hard to post up and deep, and she will get the end one. 
game, even by her standards. 31-10 and 10, four steals, two blocks, as Marshall will knock down a three to continue this hot start by the Hawkeyes. It's so easy nowadays with social media making everything so accessible as Marshall gets that. Are you kidding me? It counts and one. The second half for the Hawkeyes. And Marshall, we talk about social media. This is something that goes on social media, speaking of making big plays. And the beauty of her game is just the consistency and the fierceness. Caitlin Clark off the turnover. This is Iowa basketball. Spot and knock in a triple and then get a run out here and be the recipient of Lopez in that starting lineup in the place of Erica Porter, who is out today for Illinois. Monica Sanano keeping the paint scoring going. Two ACL injuries. And Coach Keeger asked her, do you want to go through that recovery and come back? And she wanted that challenge. It's good to see her back. Another three. The Hawkeyes are red hot from deep. That's four times now that they've missed the shot off, her, off of her pass. Marshall tries to step past the Sonano again. This time she catches it, goes up and under and scores. Taiwo. Marshall trying to drive on Burton. Gets inside, layup off the glass and in. Such an artistic game. You're in for a good one tonight. If you have not watched Caitlin Clark this season, here's Gabby Marshall getting to the rim and making it a one point game early. Mika Lashikova has 14 of the Buckeyes' first 19. Now Caitlin Clark working at the and they're all, and they're all, and they're all from range. <laughs> Taiwo, the baseline, but she got double teamed, had to move that ball back out to Gabby Marshall. Her first shot blocked. She got the recovery, wide open three from the right baseline. Got to find production from other players. Miller had to take it away. Sonato forces the turnover. Marshall, she's unguarded. Good find by Clark, great ball movement, open three for Marshall. Cardano Hillary goes right up against Addison O'Grady, O'Grady too tall, here comes Iowa, a two on one, Marshall, O'Grady, Iowa by four. We're so pumped there, and how about Addison O'Grady as well, running the floor, staying composed, and the team feeling it. Look, this is an Iowa team that has a lot of different pieces that can play. Final seconds of the quarter. Runner good as it goes! And a three-pointer for Gabby Marshall. Fantastic time and score awareness. Gabby Marshall drills it from three. Good closeout by Brown. She'll lob it inside. No help. Defense arrived in time. Sonano. Puts it up and in. In anticipation off the ball. It's a 6-0 run for the Hawkeyes. Gabby Marshall, an excellent defender, comes up with the steal, feels Burton, and finishes. Your defense to offense, great things happen in terms of your momentum and confidence in the game. Gabby Marshall right there, quick hands, and comes to the right. Marshall saves it along the baseline, finds it. You love to see the reserves get in on the action. Yesterday against Ohio State, leading her team. That's why Gabby Marshall gets a lot of playing time. Not going to score a lot of points, but a really good perimeter defender. Warnock's been rather quiet. That was loud. Marshall, good take to the basket. She scores. Hawks break the five-minute scoring field goal drought. It's just great to see the consistency from top to bottom on this Hawkeye squad. Marshall dumps it down low. O'Grady off the glass and scores. Clark pass Jones. Steps through, back to Marshall for three. That's in. Caitlin Clark facilitates. Gabby Marshall knocks it down. Has not gotten a shot off. Does have five rebounds. Sonano and Clark combining for half of Iowa's scoring, and that is another. Yeah, make her now, what, six for eight from the field today. That's pretty impressive stuff early on. And there's a great steal there. Here's Gabby Marshall using that speed to lay up up, and that layup is in. As out of nowhere, Iowa has taken an 11-point lead from originally a three-point lead. We'll be back. Marshall wide open. They're in the zone. 
down low into Sinano, and you get a high, effective shot at the very end. Her cut off of her, and then she slides to the basket. Over under the screen when Martin ducked under. Same play, Gabby Marshall this time. Works like a charm. Yeah, you think if the Hawks swing the ball around, they should be able to find Sonano on the block. She's working on Wolf right now. Marshall for three. There it is. Gabby Marshall. They're cutting her off on that straight line drive, so she makes an excellent move. A falter underneath the great feed from Gabby Marshall. So we've talked about how well this Iowa team shares the basketball, the drive on the baseline. You know when somebody is going to the basket, you need to make yourself. Illinois has done a great job of creating the second chance opportunities at key times. Ooh, it's a great lob pass. And the three-pointer falls from the corner. Gabby Marshall. 22 to 18 now. Again, just Marshall getting into the Stelke. Easy bucket fouled from behind by Mott. So loud, especially when Iowa goes on a run. And the way they play at their pace, it's really frustrating as a team if you just can't get a hold or a grip on the situation. Molly Davis forces a steal. Which Good defense from the freshman Halleck. The kick. Marshall for three. Got it. And we are tied. You've got to get chip away at this lead by getting stops. Marshall creating space for herself. She'll get it back, a second chance for Iowa. And they finish, so Fulder. Those are the inside shots. It, it, you're not going to make everyone, but they're important. Stalky to the basket. It's a 12-0 run. Lisa Bluter checking out Caitlin Clark. She's shaking her head, doesn't want to come out. Threads the needle on the bounce. Great run by Hannah Stolke. The jumper will not go. Rebound taken down by Martin. Good position inside. Sonano lays it in. And, and she's done a good job stepping up into this role and learning on the fly. As a point guard in the Big Ten, you get um, immersed in a lot of, oh my gosh. Happiness misses everything. Up ahead to Stolke. Watch out. For the freshman, she will burn you on the run. Possession down here, then just gets out, run the floor, get the ball, finish with some confidence. The freshman showing some. Less than a minute to play in the first half. Parrish back on the floor with two fouls. Up ahead to Clark. Wiggles past Berger. And the reverse off the window is good. Monica Sonato, second and third, respectively, all time in Iowa career scoring. The seventh turnover for the Scarlet Knights. Clark feeding Marshall. She's going to go around me. She surprises you with every little bit of move she makes. On the inbound, find Gabby Marshall, right baseline. Score from three. From the field than they did against the Badgers last time they played. But the big difference between these two games, Hawkeyes made 12 threes. Shelly just one of six from three right now. And then a turnover. Another one. Marshall has it. Clark's trying to call a timeout. Instead, she steals it for an easy two. For Nebraska. You're starting to see the frustration from these Huskers as well. But look at the hustle by the Huskers. They're just all over it, and then that ball just... And it looks like the Iowa Hawkeye game plan is to force Aliza Pinzon to knock down shots. If she can step up and do that consistently, that is certainly a plus for Mary. Gabby Marshall gets the first points for the visitors. Berger does a jo great job attacking it and finding an open teammate. Marshall sticks it. Gabby Marshall. Daughter of a coach. Tries to get it inside, went overhead, and it's knocked away. Caitlin Clark sizing up the defense, goes right back at them in the paint. It is Gabby Marshall for three. Is the glue for this Iowa team up to Marshall. Patient, great stop by Laisha Petrie. That was a key for Purdue. Defensive transition. Oh, too beautiful. Tough bucket by Lavender Briggs, who has really come along and knocking in shots. And she has the matchup with Clark. Three is good. 
First of all, whatever yoga I did earlier, that's... Clark and Sonano combined for 50 in that ball game. So Iowa had turned the ball over.